going on guys just got another little uh video for you guys i know um a couple people have asked before about the stand uh, i did this for my uh another aquarium actually too that i had i was a planted aquarium i used uh, the same stand for an ada tank and it worked really well for that similar dimensions uh, the ada tank was a little smaller than the stand but the water box tank actually was slightly bigger i mean very slightly i think it's um a fraction of an inch really so i can kind of show you guys what i've got um again i've customized it in a couple ways that were really simple and super easy to do so i can kind of show you on the website here so this is the peninsula mini the one i bought and i'm definitely loving so far um so that's the one i got it's 23 almost 24 inches long and then 15.7 by 15.7 and so that that's the the tank sizing there now we can go this is the ikea stand i've gotten so if you look at it it's the best besta line so uh this is just the frame for it this would, I got the white, obviously, you can go with a couple different colors, um, but if you look at it, it's 23 and 5 eighths for the length. So we're, we're slightly shorter, so it does hang over like a little bit, but barely anything. And then 15 by 3 quarters, and then obviously the height doesn't necessarily matter, but it, it is a pretty short um, stand as well, if that's something you're kind of concerned about so if you're looking at that i mean you know 23 23 yeah there i mean like it's it's pretty much the exact same length and um thickness like or width so yeah it's pretty it's pretty close and i mean it's honestly i haven't haven't had any issues with it so the only thing i was thinking was maybe okay these tanks can be pretty heavy so i did reinforce the inside with some kind of L brackets, they're metal L brackets that I bought off of Amazon. And I put them in all four corners of the back just so it wouldn't interfere with the doors and um, stuff at the front. So I've also gone with a high gloss door. Now this is pretty simple. If you go on the Bestas website, you can find, you know, the doors and fronts. This one's a high gloss or high gloss white and um, Again, you can go with a couple other colors there. I think they have other doors with, that are the same size you can get different colors with. This is the same same door. So I got one, actually I got two of these doors and I also got one of these, which is, um, it's a, a door for a different cabinet actually. It's one of these smaller cabinets. Now what I did was I got this one because it's the same measurement of the front of my stand. Now. With the front of my stand, because it's a peninsula, I went ahead, let's go down focus, and I went ahead and put one of the doors on the front. Now how I did that was I just got some uh, kind of like two-part epoxy or um, like a JB weld and I just glued the hell out of it. And I did that for both of these. I did that for this one. This is just another door that I've glued on and they're freaking on there. So that one there is purely aesthetic. You know, when you walk in, it's all glossy. Um, all sides look the same. You wouldn't even be able to tell necessarily which side is the door, right? And again, obviously, you know, you can't tell because this is the only way you could open it is over here. So now there was another one, <laughs> I, was, I was having fun with it, and I got another door. This one is a smaller one, I actually don't have the measurements up for this one. Drilled a hole in it and drilled, uh, put these little wire feeders through. And then also I got these little, uh, let's see if we'll focus, spacers over there just so I can close and open that door without in interfering with rubbing on the wall here. And then I've mounted, obviously. Then I've used some hole saws at the back, and there's the brackets I was mentioning earlier. Um, just to feed the wires through, there's the holes there. And uh, yeah, I like it. I mean, like, even, even this is glossy here, too. And like, it's, it's, you know, it's obviously a cheap way of building a custom stand. And, 
you know, overall the prices for these things are really quite cheap. This is Canadian pricing. And I mean that door there, cause it's glossy, was $25. $40 and then $45 $45 for the stand. So you're you're talking like I mean with all together on under $200 and that's Canadian. Um Yeah, so it's definitely a good option. I mean, if you're looking for a cheap stand for this tank cuz they don't even they don't even offer one for the Peninsula Mini. They do I believe for the what is it the the 15 gallon, but I don't think they do for, yeah, see no cabinets, yeah, not even for the 15 gallon. Oh, no, they have one for the 50, 25 gallon now. Okay, well, when I bought this, which is when the tank came out, they didn't have it, but again, you know, I don't know what their pricing option is. Oh, okay, $400 up to $900. I don't know how nice this cabinet is, but it must be really nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean like, so that's an option, you know, you're paying a lot more for water box or you can just go ahead and do this custom option. Now it comes with, comes with the feet here. Um, I've opted for little foam pads underneath there. Um, definitely, I don't know if that was the best option for leveling it. I probably wouldn't do that again, but overall I'd say it's a pretty damn good look at the end of it. Um, under $200, second time I've done it, super happy with it. Thanks guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video.